Hey guys, Miss Ragland here, and today we are going to get started on our eye project. Now, in class, we did these with oil pastels um, because I was so excited that I just learned how to shade and blend with oil pastels that I had to do a project with it. So, what I want you guys to do is if you don't have oil pastels, you can use whatever medium you want to on this one. So, if you have markers, pencils, color pencils, uh, watercolors, whatever is your favorite thing to use, you can use that. Now, if you want to use oil pastels, you can go to Walmart or Dollar General and you can buy a box of them for just a couple bucks. And uh, that's the kind we're using. We're using the cheap ones, so don't worry on that. So, let me get started. And if you remember, we did already do a how to draw an eye tutorial a few weeks ago when we were drawing portraits. So you should remember um, a few things about how to draw eyes. So it's good to revisit that if you need to. I'm going to go over some quick tips. So I'm going to use shades of blue. So I'm going to start with just a medium shade of blue to draw with. And you can draw with whatever color you want to. But remember, the human eye is kind of an almond shape. Okay, and then it has the iris, it's round. It's cut off at the top a little bit by the eyelid. And then you can usually see the bottom of it. Now we're gonna make a big white highlight because highlights are very important to eyes. And then that's gonna be our pupil. And maybe I might do that a little smaller, we'll see. Now you always wanna include an eyelid and then some kind of an eyebrow line. It doesn't have to be, we're not necessarily drawing an eyebrow. And then a couple lines underneath. Now, for your assignment, I want you to do several objectives. One, it has to have an eye. Now that could be human or animal. I let the kids decide. Or make believe. Whatever, just an eye. Our main goal here is um, showing that you know how to do shading with color. So those are the two most important things. Now, what I want to encourage you do, to do is some creativity and originality. And I'll show you later on some ways you can do that. And then as always, craftsmanship. Um, it's very important and that just means did you finish it? Did you try your best? Is it neat? That kind of thing. So let me show you a little bit what I've learned about how to um, shade with pastels. So much fun. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with this blue that I have here and I'm just going to start adding really hard. That's one of the things I've learned. You have to put it really hard in some areas. Some here and some here. Sorry, I've got stuff under my paper. And then I'm going to put some inside the eye, too. Now, my eye is going to be all blue, but you can do a skin tones, too. And I'll show you a little bit about that in a little bit. So then I'm going to take my darkest shade of blue. I kind of have, like, this navy color. And I'm going to go on the outside of those colors I just put on there. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you blend on top. See how I'm going right over some of that other blue? You want to make sure you press down a lot, and it's going to kind of make a mess, but that's okay. At the end, we can get all those shavings off. It's kind of like little pencil shavings. So I'm going to go ahead and just line the eye down there a little bit. A little bit of dark blue in this eye. Now, if you remember when we learned how to draw an eye, you can get really fancy with the inside of the eye. And on the outside edge, you can go um, up and down, back and forth, and do the little kind of, I don't know what I call starbursts almost, or sunbursts. And you can do the same on the inside with the lighter color, and I'll show you that in a minute. So now you need a lighter shade of blue. Let's see, I have one. That's not it. Where are you? 
Oh, I just have a little piece left. So the lot is shade. So you want to ideally have three shades of the color. If you don't have three shades of a certain color, you can always use different colors. So like if you were doing red, you can do red and orange and yellow and pink. Those would all work together. Um, there's the greens. You could use instead of like light blue, if you don't have a light blue, you could use a lime green. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that section up there for now because I don't think we have enough time to do it all. And then I want to show you some things. So you just want to make sure you're blending right over those other colors that you have. Blending them all together. Now that's one of the things that I've learned. You don't blend with your fingers or anything else when you're doing pastels. You usually blend with the pastel itself. So I didn't know that. That's something new I've learned. Now you guys know. So you learn something new every day. So I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to blend some of the light color around the inside of my little eye. Now the fun part, I think is fun, there's lots of fun parts, is you can use your white to blend with. So I'm going to put some white in the in the white part of my eye and don't, don't worry if it smears a little bit because you don't want it to just be plain white anyways. Because there are shadows and lots and all kinds of stuff going on in there and little veins. So you can add things in there. Now you guys could probably, if you don't have pastels, you may be able to achieve this almost look with crayons. Like whatever you have is, is good. You can put a white highlight here. This needs to be white. And then you can color your people black. Now, I'm going to show you something cool I just learned. You can do it with pastels. So once you get that to where you're happy with it, now this I did really super fast, so you guys don't go as fast as I did. Take your time. Now, you might want to add some darker lines. And you can do that with your black or even with a dark purple. And then don't forget eyelashes. Remember, eyelashes don't go straight up like some people think they do. They come out and curve. And this eye is really zoomed in, so the eyelashes need to be pretty big. So once you're happy with what kind of look you have, something really cool you can do before you dust all your little shavings off you can use a tool to scratch things. Let me show you. So I have these things that we call blending stumps. They're little wooden uh, rods with a point on them. But you can use anything you can find at home that can work. Like a paper clip. You can undo a paper clip. That would work. You could do um, a little flathead screwdriver. Maybe even a pencil or an ink pen. But watch this. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. You can, once you get enough layers of your pastel, and I may not have enough here, but you can go back in and start scratching things in to the pastel and create more little textures and designs. Isn't that fun? And the more layers you do, the more it's going to work, the better it's going to work. Like if you layer the colors. See how well it works in the eyelashes. Isn't that fun? Students love doing the scratchies. I don't know what else to call it besides scratchies. That's what I've been calling it. So just have fun with this. This is super fun. You can make it abstract. It can be patterns. It can um, represent things. You can write words in it. Wouldn't that be fun? To write things that you could see in your eye. So anyway, I wanted to show you that tutorial because I... I'm so excited about it. I just love it. Um, let me show you the one I finished just the other day. This is the one I've been working on. Um, it is my eye. And I did the reflections that you could see in the classroom. So these are like the lots that you can see. And as you can see, I did scratchy scratches on it too. 
and it was so fun. And I did like a skin tone background, but with lots of bright colors. And I just had a, such a good time drawing and and uh, using the pastels on this. Really quick, before I get off here, I just wanted to show you guys one other thing that you could try if you want to jazz up your art. And that is not just the eye, but adding something to it. Like these are super fun. This one has a city in it. Um, you can make it really um, creepy. Here's a creepy one. You can make it really meaningful and make it something that you would see in your eye, like something you've been thinking about or worrying about or are excited about or something along those lines. So, I mean, I would suggest looking online for some inspiration before you get started. And as always, I have something that I'm usually looking at when I draw something if I want it to look realistic. So I took a really close-up photograph of my own eye to use for mine. You can do that, or you can Google um, close-up photos of animal eyes or human eyes and just get some ideas from that. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with because you guys are amazing artists. And um, have a great week, and happy creating. Bye, guys.